Hi YouTube. Okay, today we are doing something super practical that anyone can have a go at. Now fitting your own Anderson plugs. Whether you're setting up a 12 volt system for your car, camper trailer or solar setup, this is something you will run into. And this is easier than what you might think. Just gonna start with the basics of an Anderson plug. Anderson plugs are genderless, so there's no male and no female. So you see here, there's two Anderson plugs. They simply plug into each other, as you see there. Okay, so these are the sizes they come in. You got the 50 amp. This is the most common size and the one I will be demonstrating today. You got the 120 amp. Now these are often used for larger dual battery setups. And you've got the 175 amp, you'll find these in more heavy duty gear like forklifts or high draw inverters. Now this one is the 350 amp. Now this is serious stuff, large scale power systems or commercial equipment. So the bigger the number, the bigger the plug and the thicker the cable it takes. So you can see the difference there in the cable sizes between the 50 amp and the 350 amp. And then you might see these in different colors. Now I don't have any colored ones, I only got the gray ones, but the gray ones are the most popular. Gray, red, blue, yellow, and more. Each colored one, they have a different keyway. So gray will plug into gray, red will plug into red, and so on. This is great for avoiding accidents like plugging in a 12 volt fridge to a 24 volt line. 12 volt, the gray is most common used. Let's talk tools. You can absolutely do this with the bare minimum tools just to get the job done. Now I'm gonna do this just using basic tools that you don't have to run out and buy the professional equipment. Okay, so bare basics. You'll need a knife, a sharp knife. If you're more technical, you've got a cable stripper, you can use one of those. But I'll just show you using the knife. Now, you can have a lighter or a heat gun. This is to apply to the heat shrink when we finish the job. A hammer and a solid surface, like a vise or a brick. I'm just gonna pretty much use the vise. I've got in the shed here, the Anderson plug itself. Okay, and today I'll be just using the six millimeter square cable. Now this is great for general purpose use. Also, a punch, and there's my pieces of heat shrink. So I'm just gonna use these basic tools to show you how it's done. Now, if you're just starting out, you don't need to spend big. Of course, if you're gonna do a lot of this sort of stuff, get the proper strippers, get the proper tools, will make life easier. Okay, you gotta strip about 10 millimeters of the cable. So you gotta take the end of the cable off. Be careful you don't, um, Nick the cables, you get that off. Okay, generally using six mil, I like to go about 20 mil of cabling. Okay, I do this because I just like to double the end over, like so. It gives it more bite when you squish the terminal onto the, the cable. So you can see I've doubled it over. Now I just put the end on there. As you see right there. Okay, now we'll come over to the vise. Now I squish the end of the cable in. Okay, so it looks something like that. Now this is where you get your nail punch. You can even use I'll just show you here, you can even use a big nail. Now I'll just cut the end off. Just to show you, you can use a nail. Okay, now I'm gonna just punch that a couple of times. And you see there, right? That's sandwiched in pretty well. Next step. Get your heat shrink, put it on, 
Now you get your lighter, or well, in my case, I get my little um, my little gas torch here. Or a heat gun. Okay, we're done with that one. So of course you'll do the same with both. So I'll put the other lug on there. Okay, something else you can do, you can get your cable, put your lug on. Okay, get your hammer. Hammer it down like that. Get your nail. Punch it a couple of times. You better have a centre punch, but um, the nail's starting to bend. But it can be done, okay? And that's not going anywhere, okay? If you don't have any heat shrink, now it's just another suggestion. If you don't have heat shrink, you can just use a bit of tape if you wish, a bit of um, electrical tape. You know, if you're somewhere you need to do an emergency repair, one of your plugs, and you don't have heat shrink, you can do that. Or if you don't have tape, then of course, you just don't use tape. You put the lug on without the heat shrink or the tape, Okay, so we've got our lugs on. Now, to put them in. Now, you got to remember, positive is the red, negative is the black. Don't muck these up, whatever you do. So, positive. Now, you're putting the cable in, so the lip is pointing down. I'll just show you here. Okay, so it goes in like that. Turn it around, that goes in flat, and that is gonna come up here, okay? And it'll lock in, you'll hear it lock in, you'll hear it click. So I'll push that. You can see the end coming up there, and I'll push it in, and you'll hear it click, as you heard there. Okay, the second one, put it in. And the same story, you'll hear it click. And as you see there, okay, if you make a mistake, these are very, very simple to remove. I'll show you here how to remove these out of your Anderson plug. Should you make a mistake or should you need to remove them and replace the lugs, I'll show you what you can do. Now I'll just show you in the other Anderson plug. These tabs here are what lock. So when you bring your lug in, it comes up over the top of this. So this little tab here will spring back up and lock the lug in place. So now I'll get a lug and show you. I'll just show you here. So you can see there. Once it goes in, this tab that's where it locks the lug in place and it cannot come back out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get these lugs out. So you can see that little tab there. I've got the screwdriver on. As soon as you push down on it, you can see it releases the lug. Okay, so you can see it's out. Okay, just by pushing on that. You can get a nail, a small screwdriver, but you're pushing down, it's releasing the tab locking under the lug. Okay. Just put it back in. So it comes, you can see it comes in. So I'll do the other side. And as you see it there. Okay guys, nice and simple. If you mark it up, 
just to get them out. You know, you need to replace the um, the casing or something like that. Or you need to clean the pins, whatever it may be. That's all you have to do to take them out. That is the Anderson plug installed. So make sure your polarity is correct. So positive, negative. And remember, you don't need to be a sparky or you don't have to buy expensive tools to get started with Anderson plugs. You know, just start small. And as your setup grows, you can invest in better gear. So these are great crimpers to get where these pliers, they're pliers and they're crimpers combination. You got the crimper there for the lug, you see there. But as I said, you know, as you get into 12 volt stuff, you can purchase additional tools. It does make the job easier when you have the proper tools to do the job. But I thought I'd show you this video just to show you, basically, you can do this without expensive tools. Now, I just hope this has given you confidence and opens up more 12 volt projects in the future. Cheers for watching. Happy wiring. Bye.